Oh, holy hell. <laughs> Who are you? It's beer drink. Palette cleanse. Jailhouse Brewing Company is a brewing company out of Hampton, Georgia, here in what we like to call the Metro Atlanta area. Metro Atlanta areas of Georgia actually is a little bit further down south near Griffin, Hampton, Georgia. Just Google it. Duh. Do that. I slept on these guys for so long until maybe two weeks ago when I went out to ha -ha 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 visit the brewery. Holy shit, what an experience. Great brewery. Met the owner, met the uh, the the main brewer, the head brewer, marketing director there. Everyone up there is A1, really cool people. As I left, they sent me off with a great fucking package of uh, different shit, like assortments, pretty much whatever I wanted in the brewery. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be that dude that's going to be like, hell. But I just grabbed some stuff that I haven't seen or tried before. In one of the beers, I promise I won't do it again. And truthfully, any brewery in Georgia, I promise that I won't do it again. I'm done sleeping on the brewery that I may not see everywhere, or maybe I see a couple places and I just end up for some reason not picking it up. I'm definitely going to be more broadening of the horizon situations of the brain stems. Holy shit, haven't had a bad beer from them. I promise I won't do it again. I'll say it one last time. This is an India Pale Ale, a version 2 East meets West IPA, 6.2 alcohol by volume 16 ounce i'm gonna read the back real quick it says second in our ongoing series of ipas we brewed an east meets west mashup we took our soft grain bill of two row barley german wheat flake wheat and rolled oats and added a touch of crystal whoa oh malt <laughs> i thought these niggas rolled this bitch in crystal meth no thank you but anyway <laughs> rolled in a uh, crystal malt for color and flavor to rep the west coast we doubled down on our hop additions of cascade and centennial to bring it east coast we ferment it with east ale yeast for a soft body and pleasant residual sweetness double dry hop with cascade con content content com i can't read apollo <laughs> and as as azaka hot i promise virgin 2 offers a pleasant bitterness in bold flavors with aromas of grapefruit citrus and earthy spice this is a definitely a good clean can as far as the presentation like a lot of times a lot of the beer that you're seeing out there they have a very flashy crazy flamboyantly cartoonish can this right here just just straight to the point we have a beaker we have some water we got a hop there we got uh, grains on the can. Not sure if you can see it that well, but I'm going to just hopefully you can see it. If you can't see it, guess what? I say it all the time in, 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 in these things, in these beer reviews. Google it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into the pop of this beer. Had a little can spit go over there. Hope, glad it didn't go on the mic. Today, for this beer review, I thought that I'd bust out a glass that I haven't used before. Why is it smudged? I guess I just grab, I, I guess I just handed the glass. I just grabbed the glass like this and just smudged the shit out of it. But anyway, today we're using, which is my John Wayne, my handy dandy John Wayne glass, guys. John Wayne was a cowboy in the 60s, maybe, I think. Maybe. I'm not that old. <laughs> But it says uh, on the back of the glass, whoa, take her easy there, Pilgrim. John Wayne classic. Yep. If you don't know, now you know. We're going to go ahead and give this bitch a pour real quick. Please disregard the smudges in the glass. A bit hazy, truthfully. I didn't really expect this beer to be hazy at all. I could have done very carbonated IPA, to be honest. I poured it pretty aggressive, about three fingers worth, or not about, definitely three fingers worth ahead. I'm not smelling anything from this distance. Oh yeah, I am now. I'm getting, I think I may be getting the citrus all the way from back here. So I'm about two feet away from the glass. I'm getting the citrus from back there. Head dissipating very slowly, clean glass, kiss my ass. Cicerone, fourth degree belt certified, ever heard of it? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, par, uh, par, uh, antici uh, 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 par, par, particulate. You definitely get a stankiness from it. Not sure what fruit that that is. I'm not sure if it's going to be a peach. The last beer that I reviewed of Jailhouse was the peach fuzz. So there definitely was peach puree in that beer. This one, I smell a stankiness, but I'm not going to really say peach. Then again, it could be a mixture of the actual yeast I'm thinking maybe maybe like the stankiness is a mixture of the yeast the malt and the citrus that they use in it i definitely get like maybe a grapefruit i'm not sure if it said it on the back did it say anything about grapefruit i can read but i can't remember that shit but anyway i'm not reading that i don't give a fuck i'm just gonna go ahead and review the motherfucking beer the way i do it huh how is that 
the only way I know how, how I do it. What? Anyway, it doesn't really smell like it's going to be that bitter, to be totally honest. I think that Nigga, they said that it was that more already? bitter than ex- some shit. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and put this bitch to the head. Whoa, take her easy there, Pilgrim. This is a very balanced IPA. East meets West. They said it was the, the hop and what else? Cascade and Centennial hops. And German wheat, flake wheat, rollover oats, crystal meth for color. <laughs> and fuck all that. This shit tastes definitely delicious, man. It's very crisp. And off the rip, I was definitely wrong about the bitterness factor of this beer. Pretty bitter IPA, but it's one of those bitterness. It's one of those bitters that goes away before it even goes into your soul, a.k.a the stomach cavity like it's one of those bitters to where it's like the bitterness is almost at the very front back end of the tongue if that makes sense to you you know what i'm saying sometimes you get the bitterness on the actual back of the tongue and that shit stays there and then you probably taste that shit the next day the bitterness on this beer is just as soon as it gets to that back it's like hmm you get it as it goes down it's almost like the red i don't know i don't know how it works guys i'm not a chemist or a physicist or a publicist but (laughs) this definitely a delicious tasting beer on the front to mid and more so on the front you get the fuck is that i got some particles in there i don't know if you can see that definitely uh swimming around in there can you see it can you see the parts can you see the particles maybe not it is what it is if you can't fuck it google that too nigga i'm pretty sure that there's a photo somewhere of this beer <coughs> doubt it y'all niggas need to start covering jailhouse too to be totally honest i know it's a pill and i know it's a ride all the way out there to hampton georgia for me it's not that bad it's about 45 minutes from where i am but jailhouse brewing company definitely a go-to brewery if you feel like jumping outside the box removing yourself from the belt line for about an hour and a half two hours and checking out a brewery that is definitely warranting or 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 or, or, or in in deserving of your attention. This beer is fucking delicious and one of the better IPAs that I've had. The bitterness is very <laughs> the bitterness is very subtle, but along with that bitterness, it's kind of like pine. Like have you ever have you ever just taken like three small branches off of a Christmas tree? and just shoved it down your fucking face and ate it like that's what it kind of you get a pininess from it's definitely like a bit pine citric very citric on the front to, to mids before it gets to the back and when it gets to the back you get that slight bit of bitterness and it goes down real smooth i'm definitely sure there's no lactose in this beer this is just a very nicely brewed ipa like lately all the ipas that have that like kind of clean smooth finish there's a bit of lactose so there's lactose influence in the beer this one i'm pretty sure that it's not just a super crisp beer brewed to perfection this is a definite good tasting beer 6.2 alcohol by volume this isn't one of the more sessionable beers but it's not like a fuck drink two of them and you're running around with your top off like like spinning the bitch around like Petey Pablo in 2003. <laughs> I did way too much right there. <laughs> Cleanse the palate. That's what I'm saying. There's a fourth degree. <laughs> As a fourth degree Cicerone, it's very important to cleanse your palate, especially if you're doing a beer review to where you like to finish the entire beer on camera. Because whenever you have anything bitter, especially any IPA, man, even an IPA that's lactose, the way it goes down really uh, smooth, anything with that much flavor and that much character in it, if you gulp it and down it, that's going to happen, guys. So... About to smoke this cigarette, cleanse the palate with a nice uh water there, and we're gonna go ahead and finish this bitch off. Definitely a great beer by Jailhouse Brewing Company. I promise I won't do it again. I promise I won't almost Ralph. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. I'm gonna go ahead and give a verdict on this bitch. There you go, man. Take your time. Take your take your fucking time. <sighs> I really fuck with this beer to be honest. Very light, very crisp, bitter, 
bitterness goes away. Citric at the very beginning until it hits that midpoint. And then uh, that midpoint is like, nigga, fuck your citric. Y'all stay there. And then we going bitter on the way down. And then that bitterness, when it goes down, it just turns into a nice, um, like, Popeye's chicken sandwich. Not the spicy, but the normal. AKA, it's all gone. On a scale of zero to five, Jailhouse Brewing Company, I promise that I won't do it again. India Pale Ale, I'm going to rate that fucking IPA, and this is real shit, my nigga. That, it's a four and a half. Because to be totally honest, this was one of the more enjoyable, this was one of the more enjoyable IPAs that I've had in a very long time. For one, it surprised, I'll put it that way, it surprised me. And it's fucked up because I think I may have had one. No, I didn't. I actually didn't have this beer at the brewery. This was the reason I just had to get it because I love the color green, the name of the beer. And that's the reason why I ended up grabbing a four pack of that. But this is a go-to India Pale Ale. Stop saying the same shit over, Nick. It's beer drank. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you share this bitch on Facebook, Instagram, however the fuck you can do it on Instagram, but definitely on the Facebook, on tweet this shit out and let's grow the channel. I've recently hit a milestone, folks. 5,000 subscribers. Definitely very appreciative of everyone that's stuck, that's stuck, stuck, that has stuck with the uh, channel. Shout out to Dame Drop. Uh, that video that I did with Dame Drops actually pushed it over the edge. I was stuck at 4,900 and some shit for like the longest did that video with him. And then it pushed me over the edge and boom, we hit 5,000. Yay. Great job, guys. But um, <laughs> as y'all know, I'm not all about subscribers and numbers and all that shit. But it does make a nigga feel good to know that it's going up and not stagnant or going down. So it is what it is. I just don't do beer reviews. I'm going to start mixing food reviews in here as well because I know that a lot of my subscribers are subscribed because of the food reviews that I used to do. And I'm thinking about starting a craft beer podcast. Let me know if you guys would be interested in watching and listening to a craft beer podcast. I'm going to be part of a craft beer podcast a little less than a month. Bearded Hops podcast, September 11. Make sure you pull up, shoot me some comments, questions, in the fucking comment section on the live podcast that we will be doing on Bearded Hops Podcast on their YouTube channel. Oh,